everybody, welcome to Talking Cardboard. We have an entourage of people here today to play an oldie but goodie. This game is called Bruges. It's by Stefan Feld. It is being re-implemented as another game uh, coming out later this year. I forget the exact title of it now, but it will be redesigned, but at least with, with this video you'll get an idea of the basic gameplay and it shouldn't change too much from this version to the new version so let's just get started with a little bit more of the setup and the teach three of us got set up john's falling behind so i'll kind of use him as an example one guy goes on the five victory point spot the other guy yeah just put him next to there and one guy goes on the building here the whole point of the game is to get the most points by the end of the timer, and the timer in this game is denoted by one of these two stacks depleting completely. So we've got two uh, draw piles of cards off camera, and when one of them depletes, it'll signify the last round of the game. Whoever has the most points wins. There's multiple things going on in the game, but it's not too severely complex. Each card is laid out the same. You'll have six different options per card, but the options don't change. Just what they do on a specific card is what changes. The first thing we do in the game is we're going to draw a hand of five cards. I'm just going to actually use maybe the bottom five of this to do an example because I don't want to ruin the way things are laid out here. The backs of the colors or the color on the backs of the cards matters in this game. So as you're drawing your hand of five cards, you can draw from either pile and decide what colors you want. The reason why the colors are important is because it'll tell you uh, the color of the actions you can do on the card. Whatever colors are, that are on the backs of the cards are the same color that's on the front sides of the cards. And I'll get into why that's important here in a second. So the top part of each card has the people icon and that is simply take two workers. And that is one of the first reasons why you want specific colors of cards in your hand because that'll get you that specific color of workers here. So there are workers, which are these little meeples here, and then there are people in this game. And the cards, all the cards have a person on it. So this is what they would refer to as a person. This is a worker. So simply you could discard a card to the discard pile to take two workers. Uh, the next action you can do is discard a card to take money. And the money is based on the color of the card also. So at the beginning of the round, whoever the first player is is going to roll out the dice here. They're going to put it in order from lowest to highest. Based on whatever color they discard is how many coins they can take for that round. So this round was a very weak round for money. So if John discarded that red card, he would take three money from the bank. Right here, we all start the game with five money. The next action down here is discard a threat marker, which I'll go into later why threats are bad, but that's just another thing you can do. You can discard, <laughs> obviously. Threats are generally bad. You can discard uh, the basically the color of the card that gets rid of the same color threat to take a victory point. So that's very simple too. Next option on the cards is build a canal token. So all of us have a large seal and a small seal. You can keep the large seal in front of you and that's your player color. The small one can go in between the two river spaces that are closest to you. So there's little spots there. Uh, the color of the card again matters for building a canal token. So you can only build uh, outward from where your seal is at on either side. Um, so the first one I can start with is either a purple card or a red card and you have to pay the number of money shown there to build that canal token. The reason why building out canals is, is a good thing is because um, whoever is the first to get to the end of a canal gets a statue tile which is worth nine points for the per first person to do it and then they gradually go down by one victory point at a time and then you can also build out either simultaneously or after the first one a second canal and if you build out a second one you get whatever the next highest statue token is that's left over. Um, at the end of the game you get bonus victory points if your canals are still built out past this point because canals can burn in this game. They can set fire and burn uh, but three for each of those if you're still at that level by the end of the game. All right. Uh, the other thing you can do with a card bottles explode. <laughs> is uh, is build the card as a house. So all that would be doing is taking a card out of your hand, flipping it over to the back side, and laying it in front of you in your tableau. To build a house, you're simply just discarding the worker of the same color. So like again, like I said, the workers are the little meeples. As you're gathering those, the color of the worker is what can build the color of the same card or the same color card. Uh, why that is important is back in or now down into the last thing you can do with a card and that's recruiting a person So you need a house to put a person in without a house the people don't have any place to live So after you've built a house you can recruit any person from your hand as an action to Put them in in that house and the they cost don't need to match the color 
They don't need to match the color of the person in the house. I can um, build the councilman. Just red workers can build red houses. Blue can bl build blue houses. But you could build, yeah, anybody you want uh, for the cost shown on the top. Just three points and, and one. And then you immediately get one victory point. So it's got the money and then the victory point worth right there. Um, and that gets into the last action you can do, which is not on the actions card. And that is actually using uh, an action on a person. Um, there are different actions that cost workers. So it's a, like a one round action you can do. That, like for example, that one's a yellow worker. You can put a yellow worker onto it from your supply. And this is a free action before you do any of the main actions to trigger whatever is on the card. There are other ones that have an infinite symbol that is just like a, like a reoccurring thing or um, like a- Down the stairs, the down arrow. Uh, the down arrow stairs one is an immediate thing that only happens once. Mm. But those ones where you're putting a worker on there, can those be used multiple times? You just yep. have to put a new worker um, on it each they time? They can be triggered once per round. So okay. the worker covers it for the round. At the end of the round, you take the worker off. Take okay. it off or, or discard it? You discard it, yeah. Okay. Yep. So it's used up. <laughs> uh, there is another thing that's kind of like an olive branch type looking crown, and that's just end game victory points that some people give you at the bottom based okay. on different goals. What is the importance of all the different professions on the bottom? There are certain end game scoring cards on different people that say if you have uh, X amount of scholars, you get victory points or X amount of artists or whatever. So that, that can matter for that reason. But Sweet. it's mainly end game scoring. Um, all right, so the other th that's basically the entire game. The other thing that happens too, so the first player rolls out the dice and that'll tell you obviously the value of the dice, but it also um, tells you these different goals that we're going after or helps you know what these different goals are. They so, start face down. The, uh, yep, we'll start face down. So at the end of each round, we check for whoever has majority in each of these three goals. Whoever does have majority gets to flip it, showing that they've completed it, and it's worth four victory points at the end of the game. The different goals are having the most people in houses. If you're tied, it's not the most. So you do have to have the most out of everybody. So if we each built one person in a house, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything. Uh, most canals is the second thing you can go after. And then the last one is the reputation track, whoever's highest on that, which is this track here. And the way you go up on the reputation track is at the beginning of every round, after the first player rolls all the dice, you get the option of paying before the round starts to go up one spot on the track, starting with the one and going up. The cost of it is all the ones and twos combined that had been rolled. So it's very expensive to go up on the track this round. All the threes and fours don't matter in the base game. They only matter in the expansion. And any of fives and sixes that are rolled are what color threat tokens you have to take and put in mm -hmm. front of you. So here's another little cheat sheet in front of us for the threats. The threats are all pie shaped. Um, they make up one third of the pie. So if you get three of the same color threat, that threat will happen. All those tokens will get discarded and the bad thing will happen to you. So the top one, the yellow, is the raid. Return all of your guilders to the bank, which is your money. So that's a bad thing. Uh, blue is flood. Return all of your workers to the supply, which are the little workers there. No. A fire is remove one of your houses or canal tokens. So you have to burn down a canal or burn down one of your houses. Uh, the brown is pest. Discard one of your people. So one of the people actually get discarded out of a house. So they get the, um, That's the plague. The plague, yeah, uh, basically flushes them out of the house. And then the purple is intrigue, which is just simply lose three victory points. So. And you get different pies for each color. You said. Yep. You yeah. just started. To, you start the same. Just don't roll any sixes. It's easy. Pie. Fives and sixes. Fives do and it. Sixes. Fives or sixes. Don't roll any fives or sixes. Yeah. Easy. Now it's only when you roll it that you get that threat, or everybody gets that threat. Uh, everybody does. Mm, boy. So we all need to manage our threats. Okay, I'm gonna manage my pies. Uh, so that is the game in a nutshell. Did you guys have any questions of anything I missed? And we'll kind of learn it more as we play. Um, the only way to be getting more guilders, aka money, is by taking that action, correct? Take or free actions that come up on characters. On a card character, okay. yep, exactly. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, and so the last thing to keep in mind is when you're drawing cards, you can draw from either stack, the top of either stack. You're not allowed to see what the next card is. You can't like put a card back if you didn't want that color after seeing what comes up next. And you make up a five-card hand. You play one card during your turn for your turn until you're down to one card left in your hand and that signifies the end of the round. So you're always carrying one card over from your hand to the next round. And that's it. Okey dokes. Yeah. <clears throat>
You gonna deal out some cards? Nope. You start. You start. So I just take five. Yep. Yes. You take five, one at a time. Because remember, the, the colors file. matter. Yep. Well, the colors do matter. Yes. Yep. What color is that? Brown. Do I want different colors or I want similar colors? I don't know. I might want red and purple for my canals. Mm, that's a good. good we point. did start off with one worker <laughs> of each, know. so we have workers. We've yeah, got. If some I get money. more brown workers, that behooves me to. Uh... Hmm. You're so violent with your card draw. You can see all the next co cards coming up. Well, that's not good. I don't want more brown. Oh, I get to roll these two eventually, right? Yeah, after we draw our hands, yep. Let's do brown and yellow. Brown and yellow. Brown and yellow. Can I look at them? All right, blue. Oh, is that going to be good or bad? Oh. Brown. Why? 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 Did it do anything? It's right in my eyeballs. Now I need yellow. Can other people see my hands? No, we're not going to let anyone see my hand. That'd be silly talk. Drawing a card's good, right? Mm -hmm. How about taking money? Drawing a card would give you an extra action on your turn because you play until you have one card left in your hand. Hmm. So give you one more card. And what's the benefit of going up on the canal other than victory points? You're just trying oh, to get majority. Majority, and you're trying to get the statues when you get to the end. Hmm. Your turn. Hmm, that's pretty Ooh. interesting. Okay, so we've got our hand of five cards. So, John so now can, I do one You can thing. roll up the dice. Oh, first. yeah, I got to roll the dice. That's important, I suppose. And then we get a couple options before we Come start. Come on, no fives and sixes. Ooh, only one five. All right, so we're all going to run. Yellow. Brown. Oh, oh one, two, three, four, five. Happens. Large straight. Large straight. Yeah. Oh man, you that's guys. 40 points. That's forty points in Yahtzees. So do I leave it as this or like this? Uh, you just the, the backside just tells you what it does. So gotcha. it'll burn down the house or you know. Okay. So we each got a pie slice there. The first thing that happens starting with John is you add up all the ones and twos, so it costs three bucks to go up on the track. Would you like to? Do what now? You can decide whether or not you want to go up on this track one spot. Oh, yeah, months. let's do it. That seems cheap. Okay. Money. I'm going to say I can So you instantly it. get some victory point? Is that the, that's worth uh, that much at the end. Of the game? Of the game. Well, that's not a lot. Uh, Jerch, would you like to pay three to go up on the track? Wait, how much money did I start with? Oh, Five. I can't do that. Do no, I want to do it. Well, let me think Hold here. on, let John Hold decide. Hold up. Yet. Hold up. that might help us decide, too. <laughs> i got to figure out how much does it cost to build a building. And that's called the reputation track, Nothing. Right? Just a worker. Just a worker. Yeah, that's the reputation track. Okay. Oh, dear lordy. All right, we'll do it. We'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. We're fine. Because if John did it and none of us did it, he would get to flip over his reputation tile already. And that's bad for me. Why is it bad That's for you? good for you. No, it's bad for me. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Trust mm -hmm. him. Yep. Okay, I won't. Uh, I'll do it. <clears throat> Play Kamai. <laughs> I'll do it. Um, let's see. Oh, and I don't spend a worker to place a person. You just spend a card. To place a person into a house? Yeah. You just pay the money and put them in it. Only okay. one person per house. Okay. Okie dokie. So, any one of the uh, actions off to the right of the card you can do. What if I want to do an action on the card? Then i got to play them first, I suppose. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to dump... The cobbler, where's the discard? Just over here. So I dump the cobbler, I pay one money, and go up one on the canal space. And I put a person there? Yep, for the brown canal. Yeah, so I go like that? Nope, you uh, just take a canal token here. I don't have to spend my guy? No, that's only for building houses. Nice. One canal. There you go. Okay, so over to church. Uh, let's see. King of the castle, king of the castle. Um, I will pay. Um, so I pay because I want to take money. 
Mm -hmm. So you just discard the I'm card. Just discarding that. It gets blue, so you get four bucks. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any good money makers this turn. I'm a little sad. You got one money maker. <sighs> I don't got any money makers. Yeah, you have to take five bucks. Oh yeah, we gotta explain what we're doing better. Yep. And I'm gonna discard the red card to take five as well. Because red has a five. <laughs> now it's back to me, right? Because red has a five. So if I want to build a house, ooh. you just flip it and spend a worker of the same color. Hmm. And then that card's gone forever. 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 Alright, I don't really know what I want to do right now, so we're going to... Oh boy. Oh lordy. We are going to flip this guy face down for a yellow worker to build a yellow house. And only one person can live in a house? Yep. Forever? Yep. Uh, I'm building a brown house. So I can discard to get more money again? Yep. What? Doing that. Is that a legal play? That is legal. Can you just have $100? Because some yeah. of these people get pretty expensive to hire. Oh, really? Some of them are up to like 12. I mean, this guy is expensive. I think 12 is the highest. Okay, I am going to... Hmm. It's kind of interesting, but that's not really going to combo with what I'm doing. When can I do a free action? Only at the beginning of the turn. I'm going to build a brown house. Oh, everyone's being brown houses. Yeah, at the beginning of the turn. What does the brown house cost you? Just a brown worker. Hmm. I am going to You're play... Standing by the way you said that? Mm-hmm. Okay. A brown worker. I would have said it the same way if we were I'm a blue I'm going to play worker. my zero cost none into my zero point house to immediately take one yellow worker. Oh my gosh. And three money. Hmm. Because nuns yeah. be shaving off that uh, collection nuns. place. <laughs> yep. You want to rephrase the way you said that? Nope. <laughs> nope, it's true. <laughs> I am going to pay for the notary. And it has a constant ability that says, advancing on the reputation track always costs you two fewer guilders, but never less than zero. Oh, Wait, what? How does that work? That's so good. So that means... That that's a guilder. The money. money. Oh. So it would cost them only one. i to build so a three. purple house. Dang, that's really yeah. good. No wonder why you... You're building another house? Another no, house. house. That's my oh, that's your first house. So. Oh, you guys can put your houses into the screen. But you can't see where the screen is. Oh, where's the screen? You're good. I don't know if I'm on there. It should be whatever Church can see on his, you can see on yours. So that's part good. Unfortunately, I have that box up there. I was going to say, I'm looking at a box. <laughs> it's because if the screen freezes, I have to click in that box. So. All right, so oh, I'm going to do... Which has not happened yet. So we get one more thing this turn. That's really good. I should have done really that. Good. I'm going to put this guy in this house for six. And he's the harbor master, allows me to spend a brown worker. If you have at least three brown yeah, houses in your play area, I get two that. victory points for doing that. Nice. Do I get victory points right away, or is that No, because the ho the houses can burn down and the people can leave yeah. from the rats and stuff oh, like that. Okay. So all right, we're going to discard this carpet maker and spend two money to build another canal piece. Right there. Yes. Right? That's oh, how that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Power play. He's still going. Neato. All right, I'll spend that. And, ooh. Yeah, yeah now oh. who's got a conundrum? And pay one to build a yellow canal right there. Ooh. Okay. Spend 12 and put that guy in the house. 12? Well, What does money. he do? Oh, see, this is what I was going to say. Don't say anything yet. All right, say that again, John. Twelve? What does he do? <laughs> twelve money? What yeah, does he 12 do? Twelve money. Yeah, so every time I do a basically name instant first? action, I can do it twice. Ooh. His name is Astronomer. Oh, Ooh, he's an astronomer. Take an instant action twice. He's a scholar. All the time. That's really good. So you're probably going to do a lot of instant actions going like forward. Four, I, think. Four I was nice. going to build some canals, nice. but I think I'm going to ditch the blue guy for four money. Get my money built back up. You don't need money. 
So that's the end of the round. Yep, we all have one card left, so that's the yep. end of the round. Um, play passes to Jerch. And um, now what? draw out your four Jerch cards. Jerch draws up to okay. Yep. One. Was that good? <clears throat> Wait, when do I get to flip this? Uh, oh, yeah, we check for majority. So John's got canal majority. So you flip that. So let's check for this one first. Oh, oh we're going to go in that order? Yeah, it's reputation order. first. Okay, reputation, <laughs> we're tied. We're all tied. Canal, John. That one. So I get this forever? Yeah, it never goes away. Nice. People were all and tied. And then people were all tied, too. All right. Because we all have one. Yep. Okie doke. Yeah. yeah. So, there, so then this is useless for the rest of us? No, because you could get passed. It's still passed. Okay. Because so, now I don't Oh, because at any forever. point you are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that was one. Now you can keep drawing your cards. Sorry, I just want to make sure. What's this for? Just to show what player color you are. Oh, True. I am red. Three... Except it isn't always the corner you're closest to anyway. That's that one. Uh, yeah. Seems over stipulating some things here. I don't know if I'm doing good. When does this? Oh, yeah, when the cards run out. When one of the stacks. Is when the game will end. One of the stacks or both? Just one of the stacks has to run out. Four. So if I just draw like from the left stack, I could be like, we're done. It's a variable game. Well, I already got four points on all you fools. Let's right, go. Here we go. Hmm. Well, I'm on blue card. I swear, if I only get brown again, I'm going to be so upset. One, two, three. Hmm. There were no blues in there. That's a little disappointing. Four. All right. And then now, roll them dice. Roll them out. Ooh, that's a lot of fives and sixes. Three. What is it, yellow three, and purple? Yep. Four. Five. Six. So we have a purple, which would lose victory points. We have yellow that returns all your guilders to the bank. Mm -hmm. Or red that burns down something. Mm. <laughs> Got a lot of pies going on here. <laughs> Three pies, pizza pie. Pizza pies. So jerk cheese first. Yes. A very simple game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, checking to see if we want to pay. Oh, yep. Right? Uh, Zero. Which we can't because there's no ones and twos. Oh, so there has to be at least one. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. so that'd be nice. <laughs> wow. Yep. Way to go, Jerch. Yeah, nice Ooh. roll. Nice thank roll. You. you ruined the game. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I will start by building a house. I'll build a red house. Let's see, a red house. Pay that worker. With my red. And the expansion takes advantage of the threes and fours. Whatever color threes and fours get rolled, those boats come to dock. And they give you a special action if you build that same color canal. Oh, that's pretty that's neat. That's all the expansion changes. Hmm. Oh. What's a gilder again? Just money. a money. That's the money. Oh, that's money. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you go to your trade? Yes, yes I did. Alright, I'm gonna discard the yet to take money. Six money? Six money, because I'm poor. I'll do declare. Oh, I'm not gonna have money to do anything I want this turn. Oh, wait, maybe I will. You don't know me. Ooh, I kinda wanna do that. Ooh, that's really good too. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna build. Blue house. So if I built like two pieces on each, or if I built like one on this side and two on that side, I'm beating John, right? It's not like a continuous canal, or is that still continuous? It's like the beat is length or whatever. Uh, that's a good question. Or does question. that have to be a like I have to have a long? I thought it was the longest on the one side, but um, I can double check. Okay. All right, it's my turn. Yeah. So I'm going to build a brown house with my brown marker. Oh. 
Uh, I will build a blue house by getting rid of the blue worker. Do that, pay one, make a canal. Oh, if a player counting both of his or her canal sections has built more canal tokens than the other player. So oh, so I can just build one one. one. Man. All right, well, it's Corey's turn. the statue, though, if you just do that. That's true. Very okay. True. So now, I want to get this guy into the house. For three. Hmm. What does he do? The butcher. I can uh, send a purple worker to take one worker of any color. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to kind of discard my <laughs> purple worker to take yep. six money. <laughs> Not as morbid as the lemmings, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty morbid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's when can I do a free action on a person? Like, could you do yours this turn? Um, before you play a card. No. Oh. So you could still do yours if you had purple workers? Yep. Why'd you choose two people that both need purple workers when you have zero purple workers? That was brown. Oh, okay. This one's purple. Just can't see you with the glare <laughs> over here. They all look purple to me. All right. I don't want to ditch this one, but I have to ditch the lawyer in order to get six guilders. Why do you want to get keep the lawyer? Because whenever you choose to take Which workers, you get three get instead five. of two money. That's good one. That's really good. It's extra value. Okay. I am going to do this reaction quick. So I'm going to put a purple guy on there to take one of any color. I'm going to take a brown. And then my main action. And you can only do one... Um, card trigger per turn too so i couldn't have done both right oh uh, like i couldn't now trigger that one but i'm gonna build a brown house uh oh someone else but oh you have three houses too but the but you only have one person yeah 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 i see people. it's the number of people did you get oh, another brown worker i'm gonna pay three money to build to a, a servant oh. or put a servant into my brown house which does what? He, I can play a, a red worker there to draw a card. Oh, so take two Ooh. workers and just take two of any player. Wait, uh, so then does that mean that your round card extends? You card. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll like show like two of their color on the top. I like uh, that. Lati Uncle Tom Da. What? Right? Oh. No. Huh? Hello? It's my turn. Uncle Tom, what? No. Uh, I will go on. The draw card. Extra card. Yeah. That. Wait, is it? Um, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> what if you want to use your notary? Yes. I will. But so discarding this, I can't remember. To build a canal, I have to discard that color and then pay the money, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's what I want to do. Dang. I actually that. don't know what I want to do on my turn. He's fighting. Getting close to that. He's fighting. I'm going to get rid of a blue worker to is make a house. On the left there? Yes, let's have the discard. And right then there. red is on the yeah. right. Left yellow, right red. Yellow. I really need blue. All right, I'm going to put the purple person into the house for free. Who is the purple oh, person? What does that person do? do? She is a rope dancer. It's mm -hmm. infinite. Once per round, if a purple die shows a five or a six, I can just take a purple worker. Oh. So I don't think I can trigger it right away. Hmm. I'm going to spend a red worker onto my servant to draw one card. I don't know if it says once per round, isn't it, during the round? And you didn't do it once yet. Do you think it triggers right away? What? It just says once per round, right? I don't know, I just played it. doesn't it. mean, like, at the beginning once of Once per round, round, if the purple die shows a five or six, I can take a purple worker. I'd say you can I guess, it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll take it. Makes sense to me. If we all agree. Mm. Well, that was bad value. Oh, I still have to do an action. Yes, I am so that. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad value. I feel like you guys did more than me this three cards. Because I just drew a card. I'm going to oh. discard that guy to take two red workers. And then you still have another one left to play, right? Yep. Oh, and I'm the last person. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're going to discard this guy for five more money. Wow. Oh. 
Money, 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 money. We're all down to one. The workers on cards go away. All right, guys. Check for majority. Draw a card. Is it a guy? Yep. The worker the, gets discarded. The servant. That's pretty one. good. Oh yeah, he's gone. And then check for majorities. So majorities. anyone ahead in this one? This area? Oh, no. Hey! Oh, whoa. Whoa. Get out of here! Oh, oh, oh no! All right, so no one gets to flip that up. Same. Canals. Canals. Are same. Anyone have more than two? No. Oh, nope. And people as me. Corey gets that. One. Don't like that. Don't like that either. All right. All right, Blake. How do you keep track of whose Ooh. turn it is? Uh, there's a no. first player token in oh. the box. Okay. <laughs> There is a first player token in the box. If you're all we're wondering. All right, so that's going to conclude today's video of a brief playthrough of a few rounds of Bruges. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, like we were talking about during the stream, Hamburg is coming out soon. Hopefully by the end of this year. I did pre-order back it. Uh, so hopefully we get it earlier uh, than expected and we can bring that to the table and show you guys how that compares to this as well. There are going to be a few minor changes, but uh, definitely looking forward to that. So if you have any questions or comments to leave in the comment section below, leave them below and we will respond. And until next time, you all have a good day.